Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today some inexpensive, affordable tips for organizing different things. Um, you may remember that I had shown you in a previous video that I had gotten these plastic boxes with the dividers at Walmart to organize my eyeshadows in the pots and they just fit they just fit the eyeshadows the, you know they're just just the right size um, and that was great but then I had decided that I wanted to put them in the palettes so now I've got all these plastic boxes that I'm emptying out and I thought wow what can I do with these instead because I don't want to waste them well I came up with what I think is a really good idea I'm using them now to organize jewelry and you can see that I still have the, the colors labels on there from when I was using them for eyeshadows but like when I decide to wear a ring I had them all like in a little uh, decorative container so I'd be fishing around looking for a specific ring and I'd end up like dumping the whole container so this is perfect because now I can just open the box and reach in and take the ring that I want um, and the holes are just the right size so I'm gonna use these for jewelry organizers and here's another idea if you have any like smallish decorative um, smallish like fine detailed necklaces they they also fit perfectly in these little holes um, obviously you can't put any you know really fancy thick detailed necklaces but these are great for this because what was happening before is when I was putting them in my jewelry box the fine chains were getting tangled around other things and uh, a couple times I ended up getting knots in them or they'd get all tangled up and it would take forever to untangle them so this is just perfect to put small necklaces in okay so that's that's one idea and then another idea is these are some uh, file organizers from Staples office supply store and I bought two of them and they're only five five dollars a piece um, which is very reasonable and you can fit six palettes in them um, so I've got like the naked palette and then I as you know I just mentioned I'm starting to depot my Mac eyeshadow so um, I can put my Mac eyeshadow palettes in here so I bought two of them because um, I picked up another palette and then I've got three more coming in the mail today so I figured I would need seven slots then for the MAC palettes and then I figured you know I could stick the Urban Decay one in there too and then have just a little bit of room for expansion but uh, yeah for only five dollars for these and it's going to keep them all nice and organized and within hands reach right on my makeup table so that worked out good and then I went to the container store and I got these and these are lipstick organizers and you can fit let's see 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 lipsticks in one of them they're $6.99 a piece and they're you can tell that they're like really melt well made the plastic on them is really thick and um, these are not going to break or crack easily um, you can either put them on your makeup table or you can put them like in a drawer this is my other makeup organizer that I showed in my makeup collection video but I decided that I wanted to leave some of my lipsticks and lip glosses out so the ones that I um, enjoy the most so I bought three of these and I'm just gonna leave these on my makeup table and then the rest of the lipsticks will go in the makeup organizer but um so I put I put all my MAC lipsticks in this one and then this one is all my MAC uh, lip glosses I do have one 
lipstick in the back here. That's my, my backup Viva Glam Cindy lipstick um, that I actually bought by accident. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought a backup. I mean, I like the lipstick, but I don't. I try not to buy backups of things. Um, and then this one here is all the rest of my lipsticks and stuff that I really like. There's the, the Lime Crime ones and the Yves Saint Laurent and in the back is the Revlon Color Burst and the, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses and so on and so forth. But yes, only $6.99 for these and um, I just think it looks pretty. And if for some reason I change my mind at some point and I don't want to leave them out, I can just put them right in one of the drawers in my makeup organizer because they fit uh, beautiful in there. I mean, that's pretty much what they're made for, but I just thought it would be fun to have them out on the table. And I know somebody's going to ask, this is um, Milani PC Girl on my nails, and this is two coats, and it's the camera is not really picking it up, but it's like liquid metal. And um, it went on pretty nice. I, I feel like Milani has improved their formula. I had made a comment in a previous video that I was concerned about buying all those Milani polishes that I bought because the formula used to be really watery. Well, now I feel like it's not, it's not watery anymore. It's pretty much just like any normal nail polish. And the price on the Milani polishes is really good. But this is what the PC Girl looks like anyway on, because I had showed that in a um, haul video. But um, I hope those organizational tips were helpful. So if you've got lipsticks or palettes or um, jewelry to organize, um, here are some very affordable solutions. Okay, bye you guys.